Hello and welcome to Seamus Healy Listen Now again. My name is Jenny and today I want to discuss some of the poems that Seamus Heaney wrote for his wife Mary. Seamus Heaney and Mary Devlin were married in 1965 and Mary Heaney was really the great love of his life. He wrote a number of different poems for her. These are often referred to as the Devlin poems after her maiden name. She is a writer herself. She's published two collections of myths and legends, Names Upon the Harp and Over Nine Waves, and she's also edited anthologies of poetry as well. And Seamus and Mary Heaney had three children together, Michael, Christopher and Catherine Anne. The first poem I want to talk to you about is Twice Shy, which is a poem that Heaney wrote about the very early days of their relationship. In this poem, he remembers a walk that they took together by the river. He says, Her scarf a la bardo, in suede flats for the walk. She came with me one evening for air and friendly talk. It's a very sweet poem, remembering the nerves and the kind of tension between them as they think about what to say and how to express themselves, and this sense they have of being quite careful in the early days of their relationship. However, it's a poem that ends on a very hopeful note with the lines, still waters running deep along the embankment walk. You get a sense that this is really a relationship that's going to last and a connection that's enduring. The next poem I want to tell you about is The Clothes Shrine, in which Heaney remembers their first days of them living together and this change in his life. He says, there was a whole new sweetness in the early days to find Light white muslin blouses on a see-through line, drip drying in the bathroom, or a nylon slip in the shrine of its own electricity. This poem was first published in the collection Electric Light, and it's a really bright and sun-filled poem echoing the title of that collection. It's a poem where he makes a connection between his wife and St. Bridget. At the end, he says, unstoppably on the go, the dump and slump and unfair drag of the working day got through, as usual, brilliantly. You get a sense of his real admiration for Mary and for the work she was doing, raising her children, but also teaching as well. These are only two of the many love poems he wrote for her. If you'd like to learn a bit more about some of those, you can check out Sophie's poetry guides, particularly the ones on the underground, the skunk, and Tate's Avenue. These three poems are a really nice set to look at together, as they chart the progression of Seamus and Mary Heaney's life together and the progression of their marriage. And I hope that you'll enjoy that.